If y'all haven't tried these, go to Trader Joe's and get some. Amazing. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do another mask and chill. You guys seem to like my mask and chill the first time that I did it. I like it because it gives me an opportunity to talk to you guys about stuff that I normally wouldn't talk about in a regular video. So this video is brought to you by High Mirror. And if you guys don't know what High Mirror is, it's a smart mirror. So it's like a mirror plus a smart device in one, which is really cool. Now this is the Mirror Mini. This is the High Mirror Mini model. There is a bigger model, but the bigger model does not have social media on it. This one does. This one actually has Spotify, Facebook, Instagram. So it is more interactive because it sits on your desk and you can use it as a smart device. Um, I like this one personally because it is Alexa activated. So I said Alexa, so she responded to me. <laughs> you use it for analyzing your skin while you're doing your face you can watch a youtube video that can help you like you know if you're watching a makeup tutorial or whatever you can use it for um body and fitness tracking your fitness goals it also tells the time it gives you the date the weather outside there is the time the weather and then it also is a lighted mirror so if you don't want to have to use studio lights or natural lighting um as uh, your light source you can turn on the lights and you can adjust the lighting depending on where you are in the house or what kind of light color you need. So I like outdoor lighting because it's nice and bright and white um, and not yellow at all. So that's cool. We're going to go to the skin analyzer. I've already done it before, but I'm going to do it again. We're going to click start measurement and I have to put my face in the center of the frame. Um, I have to open up, I have to open up the little camera right here. Okay. There's my face and I have to line up my face with the And then we're going to analyze the picture. And then when I click analyze, it's gonna tell me basically everything that's going on with my skin. So it's gonna tell me how good my skin condition is overall. That way I can treat it accordingly. Um, it says that my pores right here, it says that my pores are um, excellent. It says that my red spots are excellent, which is good. Mm -hmm. My dark spots are fair. My wrinkles are fair. Um, my fine lines are up 2%. Um, they're poor. My roughness is poor and my dark circles are poor and it went up 13%. But those are the things that I need to work on. Roughness, dark circles, and fine lines. It gives you some nice tips on how to adjust your skin. So yeah, if you wanted to try the mirror out for yourself, be sure to click the link in the description box. I also have a coupon code. It's Vicky Mini, 10% off plus free shipping on Amazon. So be sure to check that out, you guys. It's super cool. I really like it. I've been using it for the past week. I've been playing music while I'm getting ready from my mirror. And I love that because I don't have to like reach for my phone. I can just shout out to, you know, my girl. And she hooked me up with my favorite tunes. I'm gonna use the analyzation part to kind of give me an idea of what I need to do for my skincare. So it says that I need to work on my fine lines, my roughness, and my dark circles. Consistent hydration, SPF, and moisturizer usage, and diet high in vitamins E, C, and antioxidants can help decrease the appearance of wrinkles. So I'm gonna use a mask that kind of helps with all of those things. I'm going to use this mask here. This is the Irish Moore um, by Peter Thomas Roth. I just got this one, but I've tried it before and I really like it. It is purifying refining, which refines texture and wrinkles. Um, decongesting, which I need because clearly your girl is got some congestion going on all my hair. It's a hydrating mask, nutrient and mineral rich, mineral rich Irish more helps purify and refine the look of skin. Okay, it draws out toxins and impurities, minimizes the look of the pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. We're gonna go ahead and try this mask and then talk about something as we do so. So, this is a really good mask. I've tried it a couple times before in the past couple of years, but I finally decided to go ahead and make that selection, make that purchase, okay? Yes! <laughs> I'm just gonna use my fingers. No, not, I'm gonna get a brush because I don't wanna have to get this all over my hands. Alrighty, I'm just gonna use the, the little brush from the Sand and Sky mask that I got. We're not gonna waste product, so we're gonna take some off the top here. I asked you guys some questions about what you guys wanted to see in this video, what topics you want me to talk about. And honestly, I wasn't really feeling any of the topics that you guys were asking. 
somebody just suggested that I talk about my 2018 goals and how and which ones I've met so far and how I'm going how I'm doing with my goals or whatever for the year and people always want to know about my goals I feel like people always want to know what I feel like you know I'm accomplishing what's next for me in my life what's next what's the move what's what's coming up I do have something to say about my goals but before I get to that I do want to discuss something that I feel like it's important to mention it's it's a lot of pressure for somebody in the public eye whatever you know um, industry they're in it's a lot of pressure for us to always do more and do better not that we shouldn't want to do better as people in general but just the the fact that you know we're in front of y'all and you know not everybody wants to have that responsibility of being an example or being you know on a pedestal or whatever not all of us want that responsibility even if we have it and can't get rid of it and so sometimes we feel like we always have to have it together because people are watching no matter what industry or field you're in it's a lot of pressure to just basically have your stuff together to always be popping to always be on point to always be on i understand that Y'all like to know what's going on with me and stuff because you're my followers. You guys want to know. And I don't I don't see anything wrong with that. But at the same time, it gets to me sometimes because it's like there are times when I'm not making moves. I'm not doing big things and or at least things that I feel like are cool because I see other people doing cool things that it's not the same kind of cool as they're cool, which is comparison and is so dangerous which is another topic for another day i always want to give you some you guys something fresh to be you know encouraged by not that i have to like front or whatever but i just want you guys to be encouraged i want you to be, I want you to be encouraged let this sit for up to 10 minutes remove with damp warm washcloth one of the things that i feel is one of the most i don't know emotionally draining issues that we deal with as you know people public figures people in the public eye um is just the pressure to perform the pressure to always you know to stay motivated to stay successful to stay relevant to continue to be the people that y'all want to see i struggled with that a little this year and i think that's kind of threw me off of my goals because i set all of these goals for myself but God had different plans for me. The goals didn't go the way I wanted them to go. And I'll talk more about it at the end of the year about what my goals were. But so far this year, I feel like I failed. Like some of the goals I did reach. Um, I, I have met about like seven of my 25 goals. I had a lot of goals. You know, they say reach for the stars. So I was reaching, okay. I failed at some things and that's okay. It's okay to be real with yourself, to be honest with yourself, and to not put so much pressure on yourself. Because as an influencer, I do feel a lot of pressure. I, my, my pressure is twofold, actually. I feel pressure from being an influencer and being online, and I also feel pressure from being in front of people in real life and being an example and a leader in real life. I have two different pedestals that I'm being pushed on here. People are like pushing me out, like, do this, do more, do this. Sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves to succeed all the time that when we fail, we get so upset that we forget that failures are necessary sometimes and they're okay because if everything went right and everything went well, we wouldn't need faith and we wouldn't need God. And that's like the whole purpose. And also if we, if everything always went right, we wouldn't have a story to tell. We wouldn't have something to share with somebody who's also going through something. Um, because if you don't go through anything, can you really appreciate what you have? One of the things I've had to learn, especially about myself, is that I, I'm in denial a lot of a lot of the things that I go through and a lot of things that I deal with. Sometimes, because I'm learning myself emotionally, growing up, I never used to acknowledge feelings that I had. Like, I would never be like, I feel this and, and kind of like deal with it in a healthy way. I would feel things or at least I would feel a feeling coming or I would like push it to the back of my mind. I would suppress it. And I'm a really firm believer in speaking things into existence and, you know, how powerful your words are. And I still believe that. But I also believe now um, I'm understanding that it is emotionally damaging to ignore or to basically just act like your feelings don't exist. To lie to yourself, basically, is it's damaging. It's emotionally damaging. And so what you can do is you build these walls, these borders, you build these fences to where nothing can get to you 
and then you lock yourself into a corner to where you don't even know how to deal with your own self. I thought that I was done with this in 2016 and 2017 was Gucci, but in 2018 I'm still dealing with some of these suppressed emotions and feelings that I've never dealt with. They're still coming out. There was a lot of stuff in there that I just never dealt with. I just felt like growing up, I felt like being strong was not, not putting your mouth on things. Cause you know, people say, that th there's power in there's life and death is in the power of the tongue which is a real thing it's a scripture it's it's a real thing that's that's the truth it doesn't apply to situations where you have to be real with yourself you know what i mean because there's one thing it's one thing to speak something into existence when it didn't exist but it's another thing to have something exist on the inside of you that you completely disregard and don't even pay attention to. That's oblivion. That is ignorance. And that is not correct. <laughs> that is not correct. I had to like sit down with myself and like own my mess and own me and the things that I've done to myself the past 26 years of my life and analyze it and say, okay, this is what I'm doing wrong. This is the part of me that sucks. This is the part of me that I need to fix. And there's nothing wrong with that. The only problem with that is when you do that and you beat yourself up and you make unrealistic expectations for yourself and then you put all this pressure on ourselves to uphold a standard that we don't even live out for real, for real. The things that you say will challenge you. The things that you pray will challenge you. Um, don't pray for patience, if, unless you're going to actually apply patience when you're supposed to apply patience. Don't pray for, you know, to be more sensitive to people and not expect to cry. Um, sometimes we don't consider the power of our words and how strong they are. You know, I also believe that once you start speaking about something, it'll get better. So instead of like hiding your feelings and trying to push them under the rug and not think about them, you need to talk about it, open up about it. And I don't like to talk about my feelings. I don't like to let people know when I'm down or when I'm upset or when I'm going through something. Why would I do that? You have to be able to at least say it to yourself. And sometimes I'll do this, I'll record myself talking about an issue um, that I'm having or I'll write it down, I'll type it out um, and diagnose myself. Um, and then I'll pray about it and me and God, we have these conversations. And I think sometimes we feel like we can't be real with God. Like God want to hear us say really super deep words that we don't even know the meanings of and speak in King James English when really he wants us to just say, this is what's up. This is how I'm feeling. Take it from me because I don't want it no more. You guys would be surprised how well that works, like how much it actually helps. Like me and God be going back and forth. I actually, there have been times where I actually got mad at God, like where I was like, Jesus, let me just tell you something. I'm upset at you because you put me in this situation and I had no intention of being in this spot, in this situation. I didn't want this. Why did you give it to me? And I believe he responds. I believe he has people in my life who will speak to those situations very clearly and will let me know, sis, this is what's up. This is why you're going through this and this is why it's important. There are people that are going to be sent to you in your life who can do that for you, which is why you have to remain open and vulnerable because if you don't talk about things and nobody can help you, uh, how can you heal from something you hide? Cam was preaching about this on Sunday. So if you don't tell him nothing, you don't tell your spouse nothing, you don't tell your best friend nothing, you don't tell your mom and dad nothing, you don't tell your cousins nothing, you don't tell nobody anything. You can't even admit to yourself some of the things that you feel. If you can't do that, that, how do you expect to get past it? How do you expect it to be fixed? Nobody can help you with anything that they don't know about. And that's one of the issues that I've had in past relationships, especially in my own family. I see this a lot where people don't address things and then we lose a loved one or something traumatic happens to the family. And then all of a sudden all this stuff starts coming out and we don't know where it came from. Um, weddings and funerals, it'll always do it, man. Weddings and funerals will let you know what folks really got going on. On the real, like, it be some stuff people be hiding and it's just like, dude, you should have told me. I could have helped you. I could have helped you through this. We could have hold hands and kumbaya together about this situation. You know, I get it. Some people have trust issues. Some people have, you know, bad experiences with telling people stuff, but at the same time, Nobody can help you out of something that they don't know about. You want to get mad at somebody for not knowing how to help you when you don't even communicate to them how you want to be helped. You got to stop hiding. You got to stop hiding your faults and your flaws. Everybody's human. We all have stuff we go through. So regardless of whatever you may be feeling, you're not crazy. 
It's way too much pressure. The weight of holding stuff in is way worse than letting it go. Life will be so much easier if you just stop putting so much pressure on yourself to have it all together and own up to who you are. You know, don't waddle in the mud about it, but actually be you and own up to your mess because the minute you start talking about it, that's when you can actually move forward to getting the healing that you need. I said all that to say, I have not accomplished all my 2018 goals. I will be talking more about my 2018 goals and which ones I did accomplish and which ones I didn't in another video, probably closer to the end of the year because that's when it makes sense to do so. And the year's not over. We still got some time. I may meet all 25 of my goals by the end of the year from here until December. You just never know what's gonna happen in the last quarter, okay? We got some time left, so I'm gonna try to make the most of it, but just know the majority of this year was trash. Um, So I'm gonna go wash this off. All right, I got my towel. I'm gonna wipe her down. Wipe me down. Cologne on. Trying not to get it in my edges because I don't want to have to redo them. A lot of people ask me to do a video showing you guys how I do my edges. Are they that lit? If they're that lit, I'll do a video. I just didn't think I look like Batman. All right, so I have all of the mask off. I'm gonna use the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. Silky liquid leave-on formula powered by kombucha, fermented sweet black tea that increases moisture and luminosity for a radiant, lustrous, lustrous complexion. The highly concentrated aged gelé provides antioxidant and anti-pollution protection, which my mirror told me that I needed. Boosts resilience and vitality. I've been using this for about two weeks or so. I like it. I like essences because they really make my skin feel very hydrated and moisturize but really the this one is perfect for before i get on the plane these pimples came from traveling i did not do my face mask on the plane like i normally do um and i'm paying for it usually these are my trouble areas and when i travel it gets way worse planes are literally the enemy of my life they hate me this is something that I would probably use from now on before I fly. It's gonna help with fighting off some of that pollution as well as making sure that my pores are taken care of before I hop on the plane. So um, I'm hoping this clears up soon because... <laughs> yeah, and then also these braids need to come down. This is not actually edges. For those of y'all who are wondering why my edges are so swoopy these days, this is actually hair. Um, it's twisted back, but this is actually where a braid used to be. She just decided to make her exit. She decided to jump ship early because my hair is so fine. So when I blow dry it, it's like silky and my braids just slip on out. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face routine, do my makeup, get ready for today. If you guys want to check out Hi Mirror, I'm going to be putting that link in the description box so you can check that out in there and check out the coupon code and all of that so you can get your own mirror. Um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Love you.